Hello again. In this video we'll see a self-hosted solution to run AI models. We'll concentrate on text generative AIs since they are one of the most commonly used solutions at the moment. FastChat is free and open source software released under the Apache 2.0 license which is used to compare these AIs and to run them for testing purposes. Chatting with these models through FastChat is very simple. Once you install it through PIP, you just have to decide which model to use and run the program. Now, before actually showing you how it works, there are a few caveats. If you, like me, don't have a dedicated and supported GPU for this job, you can still try this. What you need is plenty of disk space and RAM. The more RAM, the better. If you have a supported GPU, however, these AIs should run much more smoothly. So, what I did was to set up a virtual machine using QM on a different host than the one I normally use for these experiments. I created a virtual disk of 64GB and assigned 20GB of RAM. For simplicity, I let Debian automatically partition the disk. This host has a total of 32GB of RAM, so there won't be any problems of running out of memory with these settings. Since I'm going to use a virtual machine, I decided to go with Debian again. This was also an opportunity to test the installation of the latest version of this OS. At a first glance, nothing relevant changed, although I learned that non-free firmware was included in it. Once you have your VM up and running, all you need to do is to connect to it via SSH. To get fast chat, you need to install pip and simply run pip install like this. We'll use the CLI as the interface because it's easier to set up. You don't need to open any ports and it just works out of the box. For this demo, we'll use the fast chat T5 model published on April 2023. Its training was based on conversations shared with ChatGPT using the shared GPT website. As I did in a previous video, which you can watch right here, I started with some simple mathematical equations. Most of the answers were wrong. You can also notice that I had to speed up the video 8 times to make this more comfortable to watch. Anyway, I then tried to reverse some strings, but it never worked. When I asked for a non-functioning Python script, it answered with a useless but functioning one. Test not passed. By asking another similar question, this time inquiring about the C programming language, I got some AI hallucinations. You can see even some text totally unrelated with the question I posed. In one other case, it gave me a correct answer. Before continuing with the main interaction, I want to show the real speed as well as the processor and memory usage. As you can see, while in idle, the RAM is free and the processor cores are mostly unused. As soon as I start fast chat, 
the RAM goes to 14 out of 20 GB. While generating the response, all the CPU cores spike. As soon as the answer is generated, the CPU usage goes back to normal. It took nearly 2 minutes and 30 seconds to generate a response using the CPU, so it's not really suited for daily use. As a side note, the models and datasets on the Hugging Face website are Git repositories. A positive consequence of this is that you can easily mirror and work on this data. Continuing with the main interaction, I asked more coding questions. The responses I got were similar to the ones obtained from PetaGPT ChatGPT. When I asked controversial questions, however, I got even more stricter responses than the original ChatGPT. This time, I added another coding question. The answer is, again, wrong, although it seems plausible. I encourage you to try it with the Python interpreter and see what happens. Before closing off this video, I want to show you another way to interact with these AIs. Looking at the readme of this other model, there are some examples on how to create a Python script. What you have to do is to copy the CPU inference example and change the prompt as you please. The prompt is, in fact, set in the script itself. Also, the Python modules imported in the script have been installed along with FastChat, so you won't get any errors.
As you can see from the response, this model called Red Pajama Insight seems to be more direct than Fast 35, at least for this prompt. That's it for this video, like and subscribe to learn more on self-hosted AIs, bye bye.